So tomorrow we're going to talk about this, trying to find a solution to an existing problem that we have in uh, infertility, which is uh, actually the majority of the things that we're doing in, uh, in the lab, or the things not only the lab, outside the lab too, are based on subjective information that is being utilized to select gametes and to select embryos, even endometrial receptivity. So one of the things that we need to come with is we need to come with technologies that are going to give us objectivity, it's going to give us a standardization, it's going to give us precision. And if we get to an embryo that we say that it's going to be 100% implantation potential, it needs to be a measure that is being the same here in China or in my country, Argentina, okay? So we need that objectivity and that objectivity is going to come and that standardization is going to come through the addition of two critical things, which are automatic platforms that are going to be automatically capturing information, generating big data that later on is going to be analyzed through artificial intelligence, which is not going to do more or less than what we do. The only difference with our brain, the only difference is that it's going to analyze trillions of data and try and correlate patterns of gametes, patterns of embryos, considering not only the imaging of what you can see and what you cannot see with your eyes, but it can be seen by the computers, as well as the kinetics. So if you combine these things, you're gonna be able to have trillions of input data that's gonna go through a computer and through artificial intelligence, it's gonna give you the possibility to get to an input that is gonna be correlated with a higher chance of getting a pregnancy or a baby or a lower one. So you're gonna be able to fine tune independently of the way they look like, identify what is good and bad, okay? What is the best temperature to transfer? And if we apply that to every aspect that's related with the toll cycle, from stimulation to implantation to receptivity of the endometrium to everything, we're gonna change without any doubts the efficiency of the final process and, and we're going to do much better for the future moving from base evidence medicine to precision medicine and embryology. <laughs>